Hey guys, so again I am introducing the week because James hasn't really had time or the voice for that matter. Uh, Fido James, like you, I haven't really cared enough to look into the whole security issue thing because I've heard bits and bobs as well but I just even now don't really care to look into it. Although what I do care about is the ridiculous sponsored sense of thing that's happening. The comedian Stuart Lee has written an article about the advertisement enforcement office busting him for making a tweet about curries and the Olympic rings. I won't go into the details but I'll put the link below with the article that he's written but basically the enforcement office has said that he's used an Olympic related phrase and although he doesn't usually make money off Twitter he sort of indirectly does because his Twitter is aimed at his fan base who buy his show tickets and DVDs and all that sort of stuff. Which means he's kind of making money by using the Olympics, although he's not an official sponsor. Also the YouTuber Miles Dyer is worried that he's going to be in the same boat because he made a video about the Olympics and of course he makes money from his YouTube videos. So the office could see it as making profit from the Olympics or how they worded it for the purpose of furthering his own business interests. So it's okay for the average Joe like me or you to talk about the Olympics and make videos about them because we're not making money off of it. But what they're saying is those that aren't official sponsors shouldn't be using these phrases because they are profiting from this event. I can understand how this will come into place if you've got some sort of independent business or even a big company and they're trying to use the Olympics in some way to sell themselves or their merchandise or even sell unofficial Olympics merchandise or food or whatever but when it comes to a comedian making a harmless joke or somebody making a video about their opinions on YouTube that doesn't affect the Olympics in any way that's not taking away any money from otherwise official Olympic sponsors it's just a harmless comments about the event in general not trying to directly get anything out of it um, for those that don't read the article just to outline how ridiculous this is for these sole commercial list phrase things they've got it also includes summer bronze and london so don't mention any of those if you earn any sort of money because you might get in trouble i mean to all you olympic officially people why are you wasting money on enforcing this censorship when it could go towards more important things like security if that's such an issue right now put the money into that anyway i've been okay james thank you um i'm also back in peterborough and for the most part i've just been lounging around in bed one of my housemates moved into the house we'll be living in the next academic year um a couple of weeks ago and the only real issues we've had has been with the companies being unreliable but hopefully once the initial moving in hoo is over things will smooth out and we should maybe have a good year together i don't think any of us are that bad but mm, i suppose you don't really intend to live with bad people to begin with do you so we'll see how things go although i'm sorry that things didn't really work out how you'd hoped oh hey luke are you still alive on the youtubes because you know this topic's kind of relevant to you because you moved into your house three or so weeks ago didn't you uh, how's that been with everybody and the whole moving thing and that? I'm guessing it's gone fairly well considering all the silly scraping I've seen from your housemates, but yes, do a video for us please! But basically the enforcement office has said that he used a Olympic... But basically the enforcement office... But basically the enforcement office...